the glitz and glamour of neon. The beautiful glow used to dot Arizona's landscape, luring you in for a little fun or night of air-conditioned comfort. These signs were along the old highway corridor that ran from Florida to California. Neon dazzled travelers and helped scribe a story along Southern Arizona's bi-coastal gateway. These types of neon signs really represent Americana of the 1950s and 60s, and their preservation is really a celebration of Tucson's mid-century modern history and design. Damien Klinko is the executive director of the Tucson Historic Preservation Foundation. The organization has partnered with the city to allow these vintage signs to be restored in full living color. And what we've seen is this project trigger reinvestment of other properties all along this corridor and the restoration of neon signs across our city that have really breathed life into uh, areas that were sort of decaying in the urban in the urban fabric. And suddenly these neon signs have this tremendous power to reattract people to, uh, to parts of our city. It's important to restore historic pieces and keep neon alive because it truly is a master craft and it has this uniqueness to it that, and this vibrancy to it that you just don't get with LEDs. It's plasma, all these noble gases are part of that, and plasma is the fourth state of matter. So it's scientific and even alchemical, so there's a spiritual connection to it. Casa Grande's neon sign park is vibrant, living color. The signs are all from Casa Grande except for that Dairy Queen sign and that's from Holbrook on Route 66. Most of the signs are from the early 1950s, some a little earlier, there's one behind me from 1943, and some a little older like the cones, but they're so darn cute. There's so much history in these signs that go back like almost 70 years. These signs of the past are also signs of the future. The Neon Sign Park is such a great addition to downtown Casa Grande. I serve as president of the Main Street Board and we were always looking for projects to bring more people downtown in the evening hours to create a vibe downtown Casa Grande. And I think this park is the catalyst to starting that. Richard Rosales lives in Casa Grande and works for APS Community Affairs. We have one that came actually from APS's predecessor, which is Arizona Edison. And so that sign is near and dear to my heart, and I think that's the prettiest sign out here. He hopes the Neon Park will light the way for a bigger arts and entertainment district. It's just really cool to see all that in one place and to see them lit up at night. I'm, I, I'm just excited for what's gonna happen downtown here in Casa Grande. We're saving our sign history. And why is it important for Casa Grande? Just look at this. It's a wonderful place. It's free. People can come down. They can do it at their leisure. It'll be open every night from dusk until 11. 